Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to the Resource Campus. In today's tutorials, I'm going to show you how to create table of contents in Microsoft Word documents easily. Now, I, in my last tutorials, I showed you how to easily number your um, headings in a document that is your chapters, your subsections, or your sections and subsections in your document. So if you haven't watched the video, I'm going to leave it somewhere up here so you can just click and go watch the video and then um, you can follow up with these tutorials. Okay? But before we get right into the video, please, please, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please hit the red subscribe button and also turn on notification bell so that YouTube will be able to notify you whenever I upload a video. So without much further ado, let's get right into the tutorials. Okay, so this is a document that I created in the last video. I showed you how to auto number your chapters, your subheadings or your subheadings and subsections in your document. So the tutorial is pretty much detailed and beginner friendly. So if you haven't watched the video, you can go watch it after this. I'm going to also leave the link of that video in the description box. Okay, now to add your automatic to automatically add your um, table of contents in your document, all you have to do is um, let's just come here and give a space. Click enter, and we need a space right up here. So once you have your styles ready, make sure your styles is ready. So to be able to automatically add table of contents, you need to make sure you use styles when um, auto numbering your documents. So that's the only way you can automatically create a table of contents. Now, just put your cursor here and click. And next, we're going to go to references. And then right here on the left, right hand corner, you're going to see table of contents. Click there and you can just choose right here. So choose table of contents. Great. And when I scroll up, you can see that automatically the table of content is right, is inserted. This list is not included in the table of contents and I really wanted it to um, to appear here. We can go ahead and format our table of contents such that every so that everything shows up. So you can see it ends only at chapter three, everything in chapter three. So you can see um, that is it. So if I had chapter four, probably it will not show here. So what we can do is to modify it and to modify our table of contents. We're going to come back on the references, go to references and go back to table of contents and come here where it says custom table of contents. So we're going to customize it, right? So just click on custom table of contents. Great. So under here, you can see that it's right up to um, heading five from one heading one right up to heading five. Um, so this is where you can add it. Let's say you have more than five headings, so you can just click on this up arrow. You add right up to the headings that you need. So, so the highest heading is just nine, I think. So you cannot go more than nine. So, really, but why do you need more than nine uh, <laughs> headings in your document? So, so we need just five, and then this is the lines that we need that goes to the page number so this is where you can change that is a tab leader you can change the lines here so it can be none you see it goes and let's leave it at dots i like the dots and that is how you can change it you can also format the the way the font size and the fonts so we can go to modify and come again under modify and this is where you can change the font. Let's give it a Times New Romance and let's change the size to, um, let's say, 14. And um, change the color. You can change the color here. And basically, that is it. You can make it to be in the center. But I like it this way. So basically, that is it. You can also continue um, at formatting. You have numbering, all those things like that. But uh, so just click OK and again okay and and you're going to see this dialog box it says replace this table of contents and we're going to click yes great so everything now is showing in my table of contents 
So you can see the font size has changed. You can see, right? So even my list has appeared here because I've added up to um, chapter five or heading five, something like that. So because this one was up to heading five, you see, that is why it did not show up here. So it is up to heading five. All the headings from heading one right up to heading five will show on my table of contents. So we can just come here and modify this one, go to home, change the font size. Let's give it a 20 and change it to Times New Romance, change the color to black. And let's give the space, let's give a spacing of this. That is how you can easily add table of contents in your documents, as simple as that. So if in case it goes up, um, joins up to this next page, all you can do now is just come here and add a page break. I'm sorry, go to insert and go to page break and you can see so this one has a different page from this table of contents so that's how the page break is so i'm going to do a separate video that shows you how to uh, the, uh on page breaks and section breaks in microsoft word so that's going to be in another tutorials